What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today we're going to be discussing the Miami textures uh, that are available on photohacklovers.com or Creative Market. And this is that Miami print aesthetic that is trending on Tumblr, Pinterest, and everywhere else. People just can't get enough of the 80s and 90s. And here you can see all that is available. You get brushes, styles, and so much more. And today we're gonna be getting into a tutorial that teaches you how to do these text effects yourself with these Photoshop styles. So with that being said, let's get into it. So today we're gonna to be doing the Miami Beach text tutorial as you can see in the example here. And I'm just showing off all of the lovely textures and we're gonna start out by creating a new document. So you're gonna go File, New, and then just hit the Create button to create a new document. So I'm using 1000 by 1000 pixels, which is technically for Instagram posts, but you can use whatever you like. Now what I'm doing here is I am just adjusting the panels so you guys can see the full screen and you can do that by dragging and dropping the panels completely over to the edges until they're blue and they'll snap into place. And just like so, sometimes it takes a few tries but <laughs> it works none of the less. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select view and then fit on screen so that your canvas fits directly in the center of the screen so you can work at ease. Okay, so next we're going to create a new layer which we will use as our background and add a style to that background layer. And we're gonna use main style set two at the very bottom there. And then we are going to adjust the layer settings by clicking at the very bottom um, where that little button that says FX and then we're going to adjust uh, how it looks on the screen here. You can use the scale to adjust the size of the background until you get the desired result. Next, you will just type out the desired text. I'm using two particular fonts, Articulate and Heavy Oblique. I'll leave the link in the description so you can see what I'm using here at 18 point. Next, we're going to go in and change the, the size to 64 points. And then we are going to change this lorem ipsum text to the actual word Miami. Don't worry about the color. We are going to change the color later on because we're going to add a style over this. So yeah, my personal preference is just to change the color to white and you can do that with the color picker. So I can see the styles a little bit more clearly. I mean, that's just me, but. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna go and we're going to select some of these styles and just um, in the end, we're going to use the style from a specific set. What I'm doing right now is I'm adjusting the text to fit in the center. You can do that by pressing Control T. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the set five, the second style in that set. set that you can play around with. So there's similar ones in here. You can select the first one, the second one, the third one, or the fourth one. They're all similar. So you can play around with different effects using these styles in set five. They're pretty cool looking. And you'll just go ahead and select the style. And then now we're going to add a stroke, a white stroke to that. And then you can adjust the stroke size by selecting the slot size and we're going to select four and we're going to put it on the outside. So next we're going to create the word beach. Get out your type tool and type the word beach in all lowercase except capitalized beach of course. And we're going to be using the font Bay Shore. I will leave a link to this font below in the description. Next we're going to take the word beach and we're going to resize that drag and drop it right underneath Miami. Use control T to pull the squares so you can resize the text to where you want it to be. We are going to be using the second to last style in Miami Styles 8, but we're going to make some adjustments to that style. We just want the white on the inside of the style. In order to do this, we need to duplicate the text layer and then on top of that text layer, delete the, la 
the layer styles so that only the white shows through and the layer style is only shown as the stroke. Okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the second layer, the one with the style added to it. We're going to change some of the color settings. We want it to be a little bit more hot pink. So we're going to select that layer. And remember, it's only affecting the outside layer as the first layer is just the white text. So then you can also adjust the contour, um, which gives it a little bit more of a brighter, uh, thicker uh, stroke there um, as far as like the neon glow. And you can adjust this to your desired settings. Um, you can turn the range all the way up. You know, you can add jitter to it. You can add all kinds of sorts of things. But we really want to get it as close as like a neon as, as we can, okay? So that is how you create that, that kind of like neon stroke. You just need uh, a layer with just white text over this particular style. So you just create two layers here. And see, we've, you know, magically created that effect very easy in just a few seconds. And I, you can also create this as a new style so you don't have to continue to do this over and over again, which makes it a little bit simpler. So now that we have our text portion completed and our background, we're gonna be working on some of the design features like the palm trees. And what you're gonna do is you're going to select a black color and I'm just playing with some of these brushes here. But you have the palm trees and you are going to just basically stamp it out and then use the control T brush to, I mean, not the control T brush, but the control, use control T to adjust the size of the particular brush or you can just stamp out the size of the brush by changing the size of the brush and then you're going to drag that palm tree all the way to the back of the layer settings there and then you can duplicate that that uh, particular palm tree so that way you don't have to stamp it again and then you can just like do some different adjustments to the palm trees and then just drag that palm tree out to the side um, to create, you know, a real aesthetic effect. And that is how I basically created this design. Not much to it, you know what I mean? But it's pretty cool. It's got that 80s, 90s vibe that, you know, all you guys are looking for <laughs> since you know, Miami Print is pretty much training on everything at this moment. So that is basically the gist of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and leave a comment below of any other tutorials that you would like to see besides this one. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. I'll leave all of the links in the description below. Have a great day. Unless you want to finish out this video by watching me draw little freaking birds everywhere. Little birds! Little birds! Caca! 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 And that's basically, I'm using one of the brushes that I created to draw little teeny birds. And that's it, guys. <laughs>